Hey guys, it's me, Panzer6, and this time I have some gameplay from The Division for Xbox One. Um, I did have this on PlayStation 4, and I couldn't really find some people to play with, so I noticed there was a bunch of my friends on Xbox One, and that's what I did. I just swapped out the PS4 version for the Xbox One version, and um, I've been able to play with some people, so that's good. Uh, the community on the Xbox One doesn't seem to um, be too bad, but... That's how I, most of my friends are on Xbox anyways, so. Um, but anyways, playing both versions, I did not notice any problems with image degradation, or it doesn't seem like one was more superior than the other. It, they both ran smooth. I know the PS4 might have a higher resolution, um, but I, I can't really tell. My television's only, I think, a 47-inch television. Um, but it still runs smooth, uh, there's some minor clipping and slowdown, but not enough to hinder the game's performance. Now, <clears throat> I did notice there has been a, some graphic, graphic downgrades since uh, the uh, announcement, and that's kind of happened with most Ubisoft games. Uh, I don't know why they do this, they show a... A game in a better state than it actually is when they release it. When it's, it's a bad, bad practice, and um, it's it makes me not um, trust Ubisoft, which they're kind of hard to trust anyways because their DLC practices and <sighs> releasing broken games. But I haven't really noticed any big glitches or um, <laughs> issues in this game, and it does kind of remind me of Destiny. You have your uh, you're a player, but gets put into this position and you go to your little base and buy your stuff, upgrade, it has a loot system, RPG elements. Um, it's very, very similar to Destiny if I had to compare it to anything. Um, though it does seem Destiny has a uh, ha has more things going on for it in terms of the world. It's not completely empty. There's usually something to do even if you're going through and doing the same things over and over and over again on Destiny, but um, the division seems really empty. You're walking down the streets, things look fine, the weather looks great, uh, just the minor details. Um, it's, it just looks great. It's a phenomenal looking game, uh, don't get me wrong, but it just feels empty. I mean, I've I played for about two, three hours, and I didn't see anything, hardly anybody in the streets. Like, you'll see a couple bystanders uh, gathered around like a... Um, trash can on fire, or they're walking down the streets by some ambulances, but it's just a bunch of papers and wrecked cars and no people, which I guess just due to the fact that there's some pandemic, it killed everybody, I guess. Um, I guess that kind of makes sense. But <clears throat> I was thinking that the game would be, I don't know, a whole lot more connected with other players. Like you can run into random players, um, when you're playing and not have to go to a uh, <clears throat> mission and join the co join matchmaking. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I don't know. But maybe later on, once I get further into the game, to the end game, and see what the whole thing has to offer, I don't know if I could give my full opinion on this. But as of two and a half hours in, I can safely say that it plays well, it's fun, and... Uh, it's really pretty. That's about what I can say about it right now. It does have, like I said, it plays like a standard third-person shooter and has um, leveling up mechanics similar to any other RPG in existence. But is it any good? And as of right now, I'm going to say yes. Would I buy it right now? Mm, no, I don't think so. I don't think it's worth the full uh, price of admission right now. Um, Destiny had this problem when it came out, and you didn't really see much content until year two with the Taken King. I'm assuming that's what's going to be happening with the Division. Um, it seems like you're going to have to buy the Season Pass, um, because there's really, like I said, there's not much to do. But um, anyways, I'll give you a more thorough impression after I get further into it. 
Uh, same with Far Cry uh, Primal and hopefully uh, Quantum Break soon. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit, a li hit like and subscribe. And I love you guys. Agent, get that precinct back under control. If that precinct goes, we lose Brooklyn. Warning. Incoming hostiles detected. Show no mercy! Dispatch, this is Division Command. We've got an agent incoming to assist at the 84th, but all entrances are blockaded. Division, that's the best news I've had all month. Try the parking garage in the back. Got that agent? That's your in. Go get him. Hostiles inbound. Brooklyn Dispatch, this is Division Command. We've got an agent incoming to assist at the 84th, but all entrances are blockaded. Vision. That's the best news I've had all month. Try the parking garage in the back. Got that agent? That's your in. Go get him.
Warning. Incoming hostiles detected. Just taking what I can get. Detected. Agent has joined your team.
get me out of here. Keep it down. Don't get them riled up. Play nice and give me time to get us out of here. Hey, thanks for looking out for us. I don't know where you came from, but we'd have been cool without you. Warning. Hostiles detected nearby. Incoming. Morning. Requires assistance. Warning. Additional incoming hostiles detected. Detected nearby. detected.
Excellent work, Agent. Brooklyn is stable again. Manhattan? Manhattan is another story. Let's get over there and see for ourselves. I've got more agents with me now. We'll rendezvous with Agent Lau and fly over together. Commander Chang out.